Am I the asshole for locking my daughter's diary? Am I the asshole for placing a lock on my 41 daughter's 11 diary so my wife 36 would stop reading it? There was a recent post about a father who discovered his wife had been reading their child's diary without her knowledge and the father wanted to tell his daughter the truth. I, naively, shared this story with my wife to gain her insight and I thought we were on the same page. I was wrong. For simplicity I'll start calling daughter A and wife K. About a week ago K revealed to me that she had been reading A's diary because she was worried about her mental health. Honestly I think she was concerned because A had started talking to a counselor and wouldn't share what was said during those sessions. She found out that A was very angry with her and is not handling this info very well. I told Kay that I was incredibly disappointed and this was a serious invasion of privacy. She was obviously upset that I didn't agree but was completely unrepentant about her actions and said she had no intention of stopping. So I bought a lock and told her it was to keep her older brother, 13, and little sister, 6, out of it. I did not mention her mother. I just can't bring myself to tell her. My wife now thinks Ida because she just wants to gain insight into A's mental health and I believe she should sit down and have an honest conversation. So Reddit what do you think? Not the asshole. And as someone who had their parents read my personal writings, thank you. Your daughter's privacy is important, and having someone read something personal is a huge breach of trust. And like you said, if your wife is that concerned about your daughter's mental health she can talk to her about it. Edit. I just wanted to say to everyone commenting about their own stories of having their trust broken and privacy violated. I'm sorry that happened to you, and I know some will never get over it. I hope things are better for you all now, and you have someone that you can trust that makes you feel comfortable and listen to. Also, thank you everyone for all of the awards, this is so sweet of you all. I wish every one of you a good day, and for good things to come to you all. Not the asshole. Your wife was being sneaky. If she was truly worried about your daughter's mental health, she could have gone to or the counselor and asked, short of telling me things that violate patient confidentiality, what can I do to help A's mental health be better? And then bam, problem solved. Communication happens and problems are addressed. Not the asshole. Agree that it's an invasion of privacy. If the daughter ever found out it'll lead to serious trust problems. If mom wants insights then she should do the adult thing and communicate with daughter. It's a valuable lesson for both to learn. Not the asshole for the lock. A little the asshole for not telling the truth about who was really reading the diary. The other siblings don't deserve to be blamed, and the mom deserves to be held accountable. Not the asshole. I heavily disagree with the notion that she can remain unbiased and gain true insight into your daughter's mental health by reading her diary. As a child who had her diaries read countless times and had the information used against me, it did nothing but cause huge mistrust in being able to safely vent but also communicate with my parents at all. I started writing in Pig Latin and then the Dwarven runes from Lord of the Rings before finally giving up altogether. It was mentally exhausting having to find ways to just be able to deal with feelings and emotions that my parents didn't respect. You're being a good parent, and your wife needs to learn she's being sneaky, and not teaching what trust and good communication are. Not the asshole. There's a more respectful way of finding out what's going on in your child's life. Talking. If she wants to know things about your daughter she should spend time with her and talk to her. If she's a good kid and is staying away from trouble I don't see any reason for your wife to go snooping around. Not the asshole. And keep that kid in therapy. I have a feeling there is a very good reason she is so troubled by her relationship with her mother and she's gonna need help getting through it. No one should ever insist on a patient disclosing what they talked about in therapy. That's classic controlling behavior. If I were you I'd send your wife to therapy or parenting classes, plenty of webinars, YouTube videos, etc. out there so she can get a grip. Not the asshole. Your wife is cheating. If she wants to know what's going on with your daughter, she needs to spend time with her and build trust. Not the asshole. Your wife is wrong to invade her daughter's privacy. Diaries are not meant to be shared and your wife needs to stop before ends creating a divide between. Your daughter will no longer trust your wife or tell her anything because she keeps invading her privacy. You were right to buy that lock for her diary. Not the asshole. 
your daughter gets to have her privacy. If there's something that puts your daughter in real, imminent danger, there are ways for you to know that don't involve reading your daughter's diary. Something else to consider not respecting your child's privacy is crossing a very big boundary. That's a good way to alienate your child from you for a long time, maybe for years after your child has reached adulthood and had their own children. I'd be on guard for further invasiveness from your wife in other areas. What other disrespectful, privacy-violating things is she okay with? Not the asshole at all. Snooping is a one-way street to your daughter mistrusting your wife and that can only make things worse, right? You did the right thing. You're a good dad. Not the asshole. Your wife is only doing what's best for her controlling tendencies. TBH, she seems more concerned about what your daughter can say about her than anything else. Your daughter sees a counselor, her mental health is in professional hands. Not only you protected her privacy, you also let her know she has at least one parent she can trust and can talk to if needed. Not the asshole. And remind your wife that actions like this is probably why her daughter is mad at her and may one day end up going no contact with her. Not the asshole. Your daughter deserves privacy and a safe place. Your wife clearly can't respect that. Here's a thought perhaps, just throwing it out there. She can try talking to her child, parenting and working with your daughter. Crazy thought, seeing as your wife would rather take the last route. Not the asshole. You did the absolute right thing. Not the asshole. Your daughter is already getting help. I'm assuming this counselor is a licensed professional. If they see or hear something that means your child is a danger to herself, they will do something about it. There is no reason to look at her diary to find out if she needs help when she is already receiving that help. Your wife is using that as an excuse to dig for insight on why her daughter is upset with her. Well, she clearly doesn't understand boundaries so that's exhibit a there. Not the asshole. And good for you for respecting and protecting your daughter's privacy. Your wife may have said she was reading it because she was concerned about her mental health, but don't think for one second she wouldn't have punished your daughter, had she found something she didn't like. You did the right thing. Your wife is the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your wife has no business reading your daughter's diary. Op, I beg you, read all the stories here of people who caught their parent reading their diary that no longer have a relationship with them even decades later, or simply decided to never tell them anything personal anymore. Not the asshole my college roommate stole my diary and made a video of her reading it. She showed it to several people in my dorm. I've never kept a diary again because of that invasion of privacy. Thank you for keeping your daughter's personal thoughts safe. Not the asshole. Your wife isn't helping A. Eh? She's invading her privacy. The whole point of a diary is private thoughts and feelings, and breaking her trust. When you spoke to her about it and realized she didn't intend to stop, you put up a barrier between your wife and A's privacy. A is going to remember this and be so glad her father didn't let her mother continue invading her privacy, trust me. Edit. I'd also like to add that in doing this, you're teaching boundaries. You're showing your kids that what your wife is doing isn't okay, they'll remember that and that's a great lesson to teach them. Not the asshole. Everyone should have some space in which they can privately express themselves. A diary and a therapist are great resources for your daughter, and it is appropriate for her to keep them private. Not the asshole your wife Ida. Not the asshole. Thank you for protecting your child's privacy, handling the matter with subtle diplomacy, and for not indulging your wife's behavior. Not the asshole your daughter deserves a safe space to explore how she is feeling. That is what her counseling sessions and diary should be for. If the counselor is worried about your daughter's safety they will contact you and let you know. Not the asshole. There is no excuse for reading someone's else diary. It is a violation of privacy. You are not an asshole, you just want to protect her privacy. NTA. Your daughter deserves privacy. Has your wife ever actually spoken to your daughter? If she's speaking to a counselor, that's better than not speaking to anyone and your wife needs to respect that. Not the asshole. If she doesn't want to share stuff it's likely because mom can't appropriately handle it. Not the asshole. And thank you for respecting your daughter's privacy enough to protect it, not enough parents are like that. 
hopefully she knows, or sees it, and will come to you when there's something to tell. If she wants insight into your daughter's mental health she can put in the work to build that kind of relationship with her. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Dot SDS like your wife needs counseling as well. Not the asshole. Dot. I don't know if anyone has mentioned this, but it can use her money, with OP's help, to buy one of these. Make sure a knows the password is only for a to know, no one else, including op and friends. By her own money I mean, she can do a few simple chores for op, and op either gets her an Amazon gift card or takes her to a bookstore that has these in stock so she can buy one. In my opinion if someone, children included, spends money they earn to buy something they only have to, share, when they want to share. Not the asshole you are protecting your child from a nosy peeper. Keep her out, if your child doesn't want mommy to know, mommy doesn't know. She can't force this, cause it causes resentment. NTA, your wife sounds like she needs help with her mental health more than your daughter. Not the asshole. She can go to therapy with her. She can talk to her. She's got no business snooping in her private thoughts unless you guys have actual safety concerns. Not the asshole. If your wife wants to know, she should schedule joint therapy. Or sit down and listen. Not the asshole. I've had my parents and other family go through my things even now as an adult and I have a very on and off relationship with them because of it. I don't trust them with a lot of things and that's primarily because they kept invading my privacy. Your daughter would likely be very upset if she realized what was going on, and I'm thankful that you're stepping in to protect her like that. Your wife doesn't have a right to do that, despite what others think. I hope that in time your daughter might be comfortable with sharing her issues with you guys, but your wife knowing the way she is isn't the way to go. Kudos again for doing what's right for her. I hope it sorts itself out soon. Not the asshole. Anything that is said in therapy that you or your wife need to know health, safety, the therapist will tell you, they are required to by law in fact. Anything else said in therapy is none of your business, which clearly you understand, but your wife doesn't. The diary is also a safe space for the kid. Unless you have legitimate suspicion of SI then there is no excuse for invading that privacy. Not the asshole. My mom did this to me for years and would ground me when she read something that didn't make her happy. We've moved past it now but it really made it hard for me to even sit down and speak to her about things I was going through. Tell your wife she needs counseling cause it's only going to wreck their relationship. Not the asshole. I'm a little torn on not being fully truthful about your wife, and throwing the other kids under the bus about it, unless they actually have been. But the actual locking of the diary, it's definitely your wife that's the asshole here. Not the asshole. You are dad of the year. Please encourage your wife to go to therapy. Not the asshole. That clickbait title the lol I almost said you were the H, but your daughter deserves her privacy. You're a good dad, not the asshole. You a freaking hero. And if your daughter's mental health was a risk to her life, the counselor would inform you. Not the asshole. You earn the title of father of the year. But do something about your wife before it becomes a real problem. Not the asshole at all. Especially since your daughter is seeing a counselor, who will keep their conversations private, unless she's worried that your daughter might hurt herself or others. So even your wife's flimsy excuse goes out the window. Not the asshole but I do suggest telling your daughter the truth to why you put a lock on. Lying to her about why you put the lock on doesn't help nor make you look good especially if she found out the truth. If she found out your wife was reading her diaries and then found out you knew about your wife reading the diaries she will be upset with the both of you, her for snooping and you for not being honest. Also, by telling her that the lock is so her siblings can stay out doesn't make them look good and you are putting the blame on them for no reason. Your wife is the asshole and you are right if she's so concerned maybe she needs to talk to her daughter about it instead of snooping. Not the asshole good for you. You are putting your daughter's well-being over your wife's idle curiosity. Just cause she gave birth doesn't mean she is entitled to know every thought that has gone through your daughter's head. Counseling works because you can share anything and know that your secrets will be safe. Your wife is trying to violate one of the major tenets of the practice. Keep doing what you are doing and maybe get your wife some therapy too.
If she is already struggling with one of them gaining independence then there is a chance she will go full bananas by the time the youngest is grown. Not the asshole your wife needs to see a counselor to.